New to Red Dead Online are two secret activities that you can participate in right now to not only have a little bit more fun playing the game, but rank up the naturalist role a little bit faster here as well. I'm really enjoying playing these events when I have the opportunity to, and I encourage you guys to try them out for yourself as well. They are the Wild Animal Tagging event and the Legendary Animal Protection event. And in the Wild Animal Tagging event, you and the lobby basically go around as a cooperative team to tag and sedate every single animal you can find. There's about six, seven, or eight, maybe eight animals to tag, and you guys will see the gameplay here as well. And you need to tag animals to actually check them off the list, and then when you do that, you complete the mission, and you get some money, some gold, some naturalist roll XP, and it's really sweet. The Legendary Animal Protection event while it's very similar to the tagging event, you're not actually going out to sedate as many animals as possible. You just need to protect one single animal from NPC poachers who are trying to take that animal from you. Be careful, you only have one life, so you have to be very careful. I've unfortunately had a little bit of trouble trying to get access to the Legendary Animal Protection event. The first time I got killed right away because I was reading chat and I was live streaming, an NPC shot me. And then the second time I disconnected right at the beginning. The third time my video gameplay file corrupted. So it's just been really hard, but we are going to be jumping into these two secret activities right now. This video is all about showcasing and showing off these activities to you. So if you do go on to enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And also consider hitting that subscribe button if you guys are new to my channel. Wild animal tagging is about to start. So you start off and you need to sedate and tag as many animals as possible. And as you can see right here, we got one. I actually, where the, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I didn't see it for a second. You start with full ammo in this mode, which is nice too. And it's it's just that simple. You tag it, he's gonna fall asleep. And just as you would tag animals in the free room or sample them, I mean, in this it's tagging. In the normal free room, it's sampling. And you can see at the top, we have the elk, the bighorn ram, pronghorn buck, fox, coyote. Uh, and I guess maybe that's fox, coyote, and something else. Two different types of foxes, I don't know. And then an iguana. They're all different types of animals that you need to find in today. And it's honestly a really fun mode. I mean. You're basically racing around. It's a cooperative activity. There's no PvP. But what there is, is NPC enemies that you need to fight. And of course, if you die, that's not good. I have a lot of fun with this mode. I've had issues with the legendary animal protection event just because the first time I did it I died right away I got one shotted by an NPC I was in the middle of streaming and I was reading chat and so this guy literally just shot me off my horse and that's only a one life mode so I died right away second time just on stream today got disconnected in the middle of it and then the last time was my game file or my my video file corrupted so that's wonderful three times in a row I haven't been able to get footage of it so we're doing the wild animal tagging event and this one I honestly prefer this one anyway. So far from what I've seen of legendary animal protection, this one's more enjoyable to me. I like it. Someone just came in with a with a Twitch Prime sub, so thank you for that. <laughs> they just used it while I was offline. Those people are legends. Thank you very much. Boom. Tag this animal. Let's keep working. This is a good one, man. This one's lasting a while, too. Expect to spend probably five plus minutes on an event like this, you can either go on trail or off trail. But let me know down in the comments if you guys have played it yet, what you guys think if you have played it. The more you tag animals, you need to tag them a few times. There's a bunch of different animal spawns, and if you tag a certain amount of animals, then you will check it off the list. Wow, that was bad. The pronghorn doe has been completely sampled. So as you can see, that one's completely done. So we don't need to go after any more pronghorn does anymore. But we need to work on others. And here's the NPCs that spawn. They don't do a whole lot of damage. They can make it a lot harder if they were to give them like five star legendary bounty damage or like make them bullet spongy like that. But I don't think they, they necessarily have that for this event. I'm going to try and <laughs> sample this animal before this other person gets to it. We got a uh, Sierra Nevada, bighorn sheep, boom, sedated. Someone got the legendary cougar. And of course you're getting XP for all of this, which is fantastic. So remember that. This chick's running faster than me. Hey, hey lady, hey lady. I gotcha. She reloaded. <laughs> Stolen. You gotta fight for what you want, you know? Let's get back on our horse. Keep patrolling the area. Very fun event. I see that white dot. And that's how it's given away. If you don't know where the animals are, just peep the white dot. They're either on trail or just off the trail. And you can go find these animals and probably sedate them really fast. Uh, this guy, oh no! Holy crap, is this a cliff? Wait a second, where'd- Oh, there you are. I was like, where'd you go, buddy? 
Gotta be careful not to waste too much ammo. Um, there you are. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad. Oh my lord. I've never... <laughs> I'm having trouble getting this one. I keep slowing down by all these rocks and bushes and everything. New Austin is such a crazy, crazy location for an event like this. There we go. This one may be how we can check off this buck right here. People have done, people have sampled it four times. They're tagged four different bucks, or three different bucks, sorry. So we may be good to go. Let's see, you can see it's like three quarters finished. Boom, let's see. Extract that blood and... Yep, it's checked off. Okay, so I guess each animal can be sampled four times. We need to work on the bighorn ram, like a fox and a coyote, it looks like, and then the iguana is almost done as well. So let's continue on over here. It looks like this guy's just sedated a sheep. Oh, that's what it is. Not a bighorn ram. Bighorn sheep. I don't really see any right now. That one's sampled right there on the side. You can see which one's already sampled if you come across other people's animals that they've already sedated or tagged. This is a buck that would be useful, but we don't necessarily need it right now. This iguana is going to give us t uh, trouble, too, I'd imagine. I'm just gonna, oh, well. I just killed a buck. That's probably not good. <laughs> it said it like it was a good thing, though. Not a bad thing. It gave me XP. Wait. Oh, killing animals will result in a point removal, it just said. Oh, no. I got a point taken off for that. So we're at five. Dang. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well. <laughs> Oops. Here we go. This is either... I can't tell. Are these foxes, coyotes? If you look at the uh, the symbols up top, this looks... This appears to be a coyote making that noise. Oh, no, this is a red fox. Never mind. Four. Boom. Let's go. Only one left. And you need to do this within the time limit. Otherwise, I would assume everyone loses. I mean, you could definitely get it done. But, uh, you know, just don't don't dilly-dally if you're ever playing with friends or anything. I, I'd imagine this mode and this free roam event would be very, very pleasurable to play with friends. So we just have one left, and we're going to head over to the marker right now. He appears to be... We came from this direction. I didn't see him. Wild animal tagging over. It's 23 out of 32 tagged. Why did it finish? We had, like, four minutes left. We didn't tag them all. That's weird. But we won the game. Six animals tagged. Minus one for running over that buck and killing it by accident. They changed the leaderboard and they made it really small on screen. Like, I'm having trouble seeing that from how far back I'm sitting. That's the wild animal tagging event, folks. Okay, so what do we do? We just tag animals. Only have one life. Will not respawn if you're killed. So it's cooperative. Well, let's go. So it appears there's clues you gotta follow or something, right? So we tracked it. Sedated a buck. Oh, he keeps running. This is actually a fun free roam event, though. So instead of sampling, you tag it for this. I mean, it's the same thing. Same animation, just a different name. And then, do we revive it? I'm just gonna leave it there, honestly. It doesn't say anything about reviving him after. But it, this is a nice, like, mix, because you have these NPCs. I guess they're just, like, poachers who try and come after you. This is actually a sweet event. I'm a fan of it. You just gotta be careful not to die. It's good to have health ability cards for this one. We got a little fox over here, coyote. He's tagged and sedated. Or, well, he's sedated. We're about to tag him now. This thing will get you good XP, though. This will rank you up a lot, I'm sure. If it's anything like the trader out, oh, man. Like, trader out was amazing for trader, so this thing, this will be a fire mode as well, honestly. We got the Sierra Nevada Bighorn Sheet now. And as you guys can see from the top, it takes teamwork because each animal, I guess you can sedate and tag three times or five times. I don't know. I don't know how many times, how many different sedations you need to do per animal. But as you can now, like the California, uh, California Valley Coyote was just sampled. Pronghorn Doe has been sampled. Uh, interesting. This is sweet. But you have eight minutes. So like it's honestly, this isn't too hard, I don't think. Like, solo, this would be impossible. But, like, now that you have a bunch of players... Oh, there's an iguana you can sedate, too. It's just, like, all these big animals, and then there's just a random iguana chilling out here. Can you give me a tip to get good money? Uh, collector would be the best way, but it was changed up. Like, the collectible spawn cycle, so the collector god map isn't working right now, or, or just, it's not completely tracked. They increased 
the new locations from 16 something to like 2700. But I would say still bounty hunting, 12 minute timer is great for gold money and XP. And then also trader is still really good. Now that animal spawns are working, trader is going to be a lot better to do. If animal spawns are kind of messed up. Oh wait, this animal is over here. What is that? It's just a paw print. Did someone down this one? Cougar sampled. Oh, this guy just got it. Okay. Yeah, if the animal spawns are working again, I may just start doing trader over collector, honestly. I was doing collector because there was consistent methods to it, and there was, you know, troubles with animal spawns, unless you were in a solo lobby. But now trader's, like, definitely worth it again, combined with the naturalist, you know? Oh, the cougar animal field got legendary cougar. We got that updated for our compendium. That's sweet. There we go. It's all done. Nice. That's where we're going to wrap up the video here today. That was the wild animal tagging event. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out that and the legendary animal protection event. It's really good for your naturalist roll XP. Besides just doing the legendary animal hunts for Harriet when you access her shop and sell stuff to Gus and things like that, you can get a lot of XP doing this. Similar to the trader out event, how that was really good for ranking up the trader. These dynamic events are a great way, you know, still protect participating as the naturalist role, but doing a fun activity with friends and getting a lot of XP for it. So hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you guys are new to my channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2, and even Rockstar Games as a whole. We'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with leaks, news, information, tips, tricks, guides, all of that stuff. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily with everything about the Naturalist update. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practice practically live on all three of those websites and you can feel free to strike up a conversation with me or even ask me a question but whatever it may be you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links including my discord can be found in the description down below as well with that said thank you guys all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoying the update again thank you and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video have a fantastic day folks